Hey, Richard Bryce here. Today, I want to help you with your inside out forehand. If you want to be able to dominate opponents, this is a shot you need to master. You watch all the best players in the world play, they run around their backhands as much as they can, hit heavy balls into their opponent's backhand. Most people's backhand is weaker than their forehand, so if you can do this, if you can get around your backhand, you can hit this shot consistently, it's going to be a great tactic every day of the week. So today, I want to help you with one of the most difficult parts of it. This is an area where most players go wrong. So I'm going to show you something really simple that you can work on at home. You don't even need to be on a court, but you spend two, three minutes each day working on this every day for a week. You step back out on court, your inside out forehand is going to be much better. So I hope you find this video helpful. If you do, it'd be awesome if you give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already done so, make sure you subscribe to my channel. So what is it we're going to work on? Well, we're going to be working on your preparation and movement to the ball. Tennis is a sequence of events. Hitting the inside out forehand is all about getting there in position, getting set up quickly, as quick as you can. And this is where it goes wrong for most people. They simply don't have the movement and the footwork to get set up in the right position. So that's what we're going to be covering. Now footwork always starts with the split step. I'm not going to go into too much detail on this because I've covered it in depth in another video. I'll leave a link in the description for that one. But when it comes to the split step, you need to have a wide, stable base. So the wider you can go and you're going to be fairly low, the better it's going to be for all your shots, but especially the inside out forehand. You're not going to be able to land in this position or if you don't have a split step at all you're not going to be able to go from here and suddenly be able to get into position as quickly as you need to it's just not possible so you've got to work on that low wide split step to give you a stable base so then you can push off and cover ground as quickly as possible the next thing that's going to be important is going to be the visual recognition now again, this is going to be crucial for your speed and ability to get into position. And here's where the reality sets in. For most players, their visual system simply doesn't work well enough to allow them to recognize the ball coming as quickly as they need to, to help them get into position. So what I've done to help you with that part is I've created a free tennis vision starter program, because vision is something you can actually train. So I've created a free program to help you with it so you can recognize the ball sooner, so you can start to move into position to give you a lot more time on your shots so I will place a link up there and I will also pl place a link down in the description so you can get hold of that so we've got the split step we've got the ball recognition and then what we're really going to start to focus on now is the movement to the ball and the unit turn because this is the hard part this is where it goes wrong for people Okay, so we need to quickly look at the stroke itself and then we're going to go back and talk about the movement because you've got to understand the destination. Most of the time when you're hitting an inside out forehand, you're going to be from either an open stance or a semi open stance. So your job is to get from where you do your split step, set up in position. You've got to have your, your body rotated so you, you have to be ready, your, your racket has to be in position. We're going to be loading off the right leg as a right handed player and then hitting from that position. So we've got to make the movement happen so we can get there. And this is the bit that's gonna need the most practice. Now, I grew up playing tennis, and this is a natural movement for me. Just for my whole life, I've just done that movement. But when I started to play left-handed, I didn't realize how unnatural this movement was. You know, normally if we wanna go somewhere, we're gonna turn and we're gonna walk there. So our body is already facing the way that we wanna go. But for the inside out forehand, we need to turn our bodies that way and we need to move that way. This is not a normal movement. So this is the bit that you're gonna to have to practice over and over again. So you'll do your split step. There'll be a unit turn. So you're holding your racket in your ready position. You're gonna start rotating the shoulders. So as a right-handed player, I'm gonna rotate my shoulders that way. As I do that, I'm gonna be pushing off my right leg. My left leg is gonna drop underneath me. So it's this sort of thing and then my right leg will come around. So there's kind of a few bits happening together. Split step, turn the body, foot comes in, I'm pushing off this leg as I do it, and now I'm driving with this leg that way, I'm driving with this leg that way, and coming across. So that's the first part that you need to practice over and over again. It is not a normal movement. So you just literally practice it, this rotate, push, and get set. Just rep it out, get used to the movement. Now, depending how much ground you need to cover, and that's why I've got a couple of markers down, you've got to then practice the movement to the ball. So you're gonna get into this position. 
depending where the ball is, it might be one movement and I'm there, or I might need a few additional steps. So it might be a case of moving backwards like that. So I highly advise that you just play around with it. You just practice moving backwards. So get your racket in position. My left arm's gonna be across for balance, just like you would be. And then I'm just gonna practice moving in this position. So what's it like to kind of shuffle backwards? You know, a bit of an unnatural movement, but sometimes you need to do this in order to hit the shot. What's it like to, to quickly run backwards in that position? And the Dal is the master of this one. The speed that that man can run backwards with his racket ready is insane. Probably faster than I can do forwards, but that's why he's on a yacht and I'm here making this video for you. But you wanna practice it. How quickly can you move in that position? And then just again, rep it out. So that's the part that you've got to master. How quickly can you do it? It needs to be automated. Split step, first step, step into position. Split step, and just do it over and over again until it's second nature to you. Literally spend three, four minutes on this every day. As you can see, I've set it up on court, but you can do this in your front room. Just practice it over and over again. And then the next time you step out on court, it's gonna be a more automated process. Okay, I hope you found that video helpful. Like I said at the start, really important piece of this is gonna be the visual component. So if you haven't already got that Tennis Vision Starter Program, it's down in the description. Grab yourself a copy, start working on your visual system as you practice this split step, first step and movement. And together, the combination is gonna make you so much faster to that inside out forehand. And then you're gonna be able to start to dominate your opponents with it.